The central government has loosened the criteria for releasing COVID patients from isolation. The decision comes as hospitals in Greater Taipei face a mounting demand for isolation rooms dedicated to COVID patients. Effective immediately, mild and asymptomatic cases can now end isolation without testing COVID negative if their fever has broken for at least a day and at least 10 days have passed since symptom onset or testing. In Greater Taipei, hospitals are buckling under the pressure of an influx of COVID cases. According to the current regulations, cases can end their isolation 10 days after the date of symptom inset or testing if they have a CT value of 30 or above. After that, they need to complete seven days of self-health management. But amid the soaring demand for hospital beds, the CECC has adjusted the rules. We've taken our newly revised standards for discontinuing isolation and communicated them clearly to the health units of local governments. We've also informed them that they will proceed using the new standards immediately. According to the revised rules, mild or asymptomatic patients can be released 10 days after symptom onset or the date of testing without being tested for their CT value if their fever has gone down for at least one day. After being released from isolation, they must quarantine at home for seven days. In addition, the CEC CDC has asked cities and counties outside of Greater Taipei to reserve beds and isolation rooms for use by COVID patients from the north. Experts warn that transferring patients from north to south could raise the risk of COVID spread in hospitals. Every city and county and every local medical network will have the full cooperation of all the others. During our national epidemic prevention meeting, all cities and counties involved agreed that the pandemic is a national issue that everyone must tackle together. No one is an outside party to this situation. Recently, the CECC sent text messages to Wanhua residents via cell broadcast and investigated the movements of 600,000 mobile unit users to identify people at high risk of COVID infection. These individuals were then labeled as high risk on their file in the national health care system. On Thursday, the CECC responded to criticism over its actions. We believe that tagging the medical files of individuals with a high risk travel history was in line with our pre-existing policy of tagging people returning from overseas. The main purpose was to give more information to medical institutions and doctors so that when they are treating the patient, they can make better judgments. The CECC said that tagging high-risk individuals in their health insurance file was instrumental to COVID detection, saying that drastic times called for drastic measures.